Hi everyone, I'm Lauren Shear. I work in the genetics lab as a genetic technologist and today we're going to look at our isozymes for genetic purity on a corn sample. Sodak Labs offers genetic purity testing for corn, sweet corn, and popcorn seed lots. Certain enzymes may differ significantly in amino acid composition and therefore they have variations in their net ionic charges, molecular sizes, and shape. When exposed to electrophoresis, these different forms of the enzyme, uh, known as isozymes, will migrate at different rates and produce distinctive banding patterns. Based on the female and male inbred patterns, an expected hybrid pattern can be determined for each isozyme. Sodak Lab uses starch gel electrophoresis to stain and identify isozymes to determine the genetic purity on 96 seeds, with the purity level determined by subtracting the percent off types and selves found in each sample. Hybrid seed corn needs to meet a 95% hybrid standard to be sold per the Federal Seed Act. A uniform field of hybrid plants not only maximizes yield potential, but is aesthetically pleasing when the seed brand sign is displayed. Hybrid verification can be completed on 30 seeds by confirming the hybrid pattern based on the male and female inbreds. Inbred genetic purity can be determined by subtracting the percent off type from the sample. Seeds are planted on trays with moistened germination paper covered in sand and allowed to germinate in the dark for about five days at 25 to 30 degrees Celsius. The reason why we grow samples in the dark is because chlorophyll formation inhibits isozyme staining. Coleoptile and mesocotyl tissues are then harvested from each seedling, crushed, and then placed in an extraction buffer. After the samples are harvested and placed in an extraction buffer, we make starch gels. We use potato starch as it is a natural biological product that does not interfere with the enzymes. It is also non-toxic and the pore size is conductive to protein migration. With the addition of sucrose, these gels are relatively easy to handle and when we slice them for the different stains, it allows for multiple isozyme stains from a single gel. We use paper wicks to transfer the individual seedlings protein onto the gel. Uh, we also have check samples with known banding patterns that are placed in the middle of each tier for reference. Finally, a tracker dye is added to the gel to gauge the movement of the proteins while it is running on the electrophoresis machine. Gels are placed in a buffer solution on the electrophoresis machine for several hours in the cold room. We place ice packs below and above the gel to prevent the gel from overheating and denaturing. While the gels are on the electrophoresis machine, the electric current pushes the proteins across the gel. The migration rate is based on the net ionic charge along with the molecular size and shape of the proteins. When the tracker die has moved a set distance, the gels are then sliced into multiple layers and then we transfer them into separate stain boxes. A single layer is then stained for a specific isozyme, and then after so long in the 37C, we evaluate for genetic purity. Trained staff evaluate the different stains to determine genetic purity for the sample. Based on the female and male inbred patterns, the expected hybrid pattern can be determined. Individual seedlings can have different banding patterns from the expected hybrid pattern, such as an off type, which is a seedling with an unexpected pattern in two or more stains, or a self, which is a seedling with the pattern of the female inbred in two or more stains. We can also see variants, which is when the seedling has an unexpected pattern in only one stain. Once evaluated, the percent predominant hybrid off types and selfs are reported and can be accessed on our website at sodaclabs.com. Thanks for watching the video today. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us at Sodak Labs.